right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is. Man, if you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, we are finally here at Next Gen, man. Look, I got a lot of information for you guys in this video. It's going to help you with your bills, and it's going to help you avoid a lot of the pitfalls that you would that you would that, that you could possibly happen if you don't watch the video so make sure you watch the video let me know down low did you get an xbox series s did you get an x or did you get a playstation uh are you waiting on the ps5 i don't know if i'm gonna get a ps5 just because i spent so much money on this xbox and stuff this week and uh it, it's just like it's gonna be hard to justify that to my wife i mean i'm getting one but I'm just saying it might not be this week. What? Oh, I'm going to get one. It just might not be this week. But anyway, it's going to be hard because she got one. I ordered two. I had to go buy an extra one just to get it here today. So I had to get one at lunch. And, uh, you know, it, it, is, it is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I don't get a lot of YouTube views. It's going to be hard to justify. But that, anyway, look, man, check the video out. Like the video. And uh, I'm going to give you some tips on making bills that nobody else gonna give you. And uh, let's just get right into the video. I'll talk about it more right after this. Lido! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pipes, that shit made me a savage. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that habit. All right, man, the, one, the, the number one thing I wanna talk to y'all about, man, with these bills is this. I'm seeing so many centers make this mistake and it's not even funny. They're coming out here with max arms, right? Like you, okay, look at this center right here, right? Boom. I'm gonna move him down to 6'9". But his wingspan is 7'5". This wingspan is based upon him being seven feet tall or something like that. So look, let's say I got a point guard, right? Boom. Okay, look at his wingspan. You got a four inch wingspan, right? So if I move this down, that doesn't change. Your wingspan doesn't change. I'm seeing so many people make this mistake, right? It's like, okay, I'm going center, right? Boom. Now, I move him down. What is it supposed to be? A, a five inch difference, I guess. One, two, three, four. So we go down to six, nine. Minimum, uh, minimum height. People are going ahead and maxing this out. Why, why are you maxing that out instead of just making it match? You understand what I'm saying? So it should be four inches higher, right? So 6'9", 6'10", 6'11", 7 foot, 7'1". You should be four, uh, you know, four joints ahead. 6'10", 6'11", 7 foot, 7'1". Me putting it four, uh, you know, matching it up by four, it makes me have an 85 three ball. I'm seeing so many. Now, if you wanted to go a couple of ticks up, which, you know, from normal. So like, let's say if you want to go one tick up or two ticks up, that's going to give you that three ball. You're going all the way up, you're getting a 78. If you're six now with a seven, seven wingspan, why you even need that? What, what stats is this influencing that it matters? Still, we're not even going to put still up. What, ball handling is moving, stuff like that. Only thing, only stat that I see really moving is, 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 is what? Steel and perimeter defense. Like we're not even rocking with that, man. Like this, so, so what I'm telling y'all is, this is perfectly fine. So this would be even right here. And uh, let me six nine, six ten, six eleven, seven foot, seven one. So that that should be even right there. But they say seven two is even. I ain't going for it. I ain't going. I'm going down. I'm gonna be. I'm I'm going with the with the eighty five uh, overall. I mean, right here, you could you could be, you could be, you know, you could end, you can start with 95, you start with 95, you end with 99, but bro, do you even need all of that, man? Are you even gonna put it up that high? If you're not putting that stuff up to 95 off the gate, why, why even do it? I would rather start out and have a 85, uh, a 85 three ball. I'd rather have that than anything, because we know 85, I shot with 85 all year, and that's the one thing, that's one of the things that helped me the whole time also um strength you got to when you're doing when you're doing your weight look at your strength and stuff man i take this guy down the minimum look i can have an 80 strength i can have a 78 speed but look at this boom i go to uh i go to 60 with a 78 plus 8 is gonna be 86 but i can go right here and go 260 and i can still have a 82 speed and that plus 8 is 8 is is an 80 speed do I really need 86 speed as a center? Just think about stuff like that because your weight influences your physical. Also, 
Also, don't forget that your physicals, uh, this is number two, your physicals actually, uh, they, they influence other stats like this right here. Check this out, boom, watch this. Okay, now I got that right, but now I can put my interior defense all the way up. If I decrease, oh, you can't see it, can you? If I, I'm gonna put myself in the middle right here. Boom, if I decrease my strength, like down and say I don't want no strength, boom, you have 50 interior defense. So it looks like the break point, like these things are gonna move and uh, you, got, you pretty much got break points. So if I want max interior defense, I gotta have 70 strength. If I don't want max interior, as I move that down, that's gonna go as well. Same thing for um, same thing for speed with ball. You know, I put speed with ball up. You gotta have some speed to match your speed with ball. Like, how can you have speed with ball? Obviously, nobody's gonna do this. You're gonna want your speed to be higher than your speed with ball. But the whole point is, these these things influence each other. Uh, look, and you can see it when you highlight it. Look, vertical is uh is influ it influences dunking. Stamina doesn't influence anything. You see it turning yellow. Interior defense is influenced by my strength. Acceleration doesn't influence anything. And uh, speed and speed with ball doesn't influence anything. But uh, as we do this, boom, look at that. It's just, it's just like these don't influence each other, but your physicals actually influence other things. So just be mindful of that. And uh, like I said, look, when it turns yellow, it's saying, when it turns yellow, it says if you move this, you're at a spot where it's going to impact it. But like now, you see what I'm saying? So that's what that impacts. So that's what you need to be paying attention to next. Another thing, speed with ball is important. This is number three, probably the most important thing. If you are an off ball field, speed with ball is very important. A lot of people thinking, shoot, I'm just gonna be standing in the corner, stuff like that, I'm gonna be chilling, I'm gonna be hanging out, I'm just gonna be shooting the ball off ball anyway, I'm not really going to the rim. Okay, but what happens if somebody gets a block, you go down court, your speed your speed is 70. Boom, you at the free throw, you at the three point line right now. You catch the ball, your speed with ball immediately drops. Immediately drops to 25, you can't move. I know this pain because in 2K18, I had a center and he had like 30 speed with ball, but he had like 70 speed. I'm running down court on the fast break, catch the ball, can't even move. I got to pass it to my point guard. Literally couldn't move. Like, and, and also if you're, if you're an inside center and you think you're just gonna catch the ball one step, boom, like it's gonna be like that. Maybe you don't need speed with ball. If you're an outside center for the love of everything that's good and holy, please put your speed with ball up because like, especially if you're gonna do something like this, I'm seeing so many people have their driving dunk, driving layup maxed out. You know what I'm saying? It's like this, you know, you got the stand, you got the standing dunk, you got, you got the shot close up. When are you gonna do a driving dunk? How you gonna do a driving dunk? And then, then you got it like this right here, right? You got that so that you can, so that you can, you know, oh, what I'm gonna do is, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna catch the ball and then I'm gonna pump fake and I'm gonna go to the rim if they close out hard. How are you gonna go to the rim? You can't dribble, you can't move. What if you're playing with randoms? You're not gonna be able to do anything. Please, put your speed with ball up, bro. Look, with this build right here, speed with ball can be 65, max speed is 72. I'm a little bit slower with the ball than without it. Once we get the plus, uh, the plus fours, I'll be 69 speed with ball. He said 69. But the whole point is, you want to be a good percentage of your speed. Even if you're just putting this to like, okay, you're like, I don't need that much speed with ball. You know what I'm saying? I just go with 50 speed with ball. Just put something on it. Because if you don't, you're gonna up fake. And then you're gonna try to go, and when you put it down, the ball, is, you're not gonna be able to go to the rim. You're not dunking on anybody. That point, your driving dunk is useless. What if you got, your guard calls a back door? Yeah, it's gonna pull you into it. You might be able to do it, but yo, just, just put it up, man. Put your speed with ball up. Um, make sure you make your build with your plus fours in mind. From what we understand, you still get the plus four, so it's gonna be plus eight on the physicals and stuff like that, but everything else is plus four. I wish I could've got a 93 ball. Hey, it is what it is. Um, Like I said, one attribute, one attribute influences the next. We know that. Keep your physicals in mind, your plus fours in mind when you make your build. Uh, don't forget about speed with ball. Don't forget about perimeter defense. If you're a center, I know that you may think that you may not need perimeter defense, but do you remember what happened in NBA 2K20? Where 
I was standing out there, and Sinners was trying to run out on me. They couldn't even def they couldn't even contest my shot. I'm literally shooting in guys' face because I got I got uh you got blinders now it's gonna be even worse. You got on blinders and then you're gonna have on dead eye. So you out here like this, I can't see nothing coming from here. But you know I can't see you coming from here either. But if you right here, I still can't see you right here, bro. It's gonna be crazy. If you don't have perimeter defense, especially when every other guard is gonna have 95 perimeter defense, at least they're playing well. Um, you know, they're gonna they're gonna play, they're gonna have if you don't have perimeter defense, bro, you're not you're not gonna be able to really do anything. So put your perimeter defense on in case you get switched on to a guard. Because all that speed is not gonna mean anything. You get switched on to a guard, you're not gonna be able to guard him. It's gonna be just like, like I said, just like 20. Boom, boom, they're gonna pull up in your face. Just put it up. It doesn't hurt much. And I got a perfect build for y'all anyway, man. I'm gonna put that joint out. When this video gets to like a thousand likes, I'm gonna put my build out. But my build can literally do everything that I wanted to do. Last but not least, the most important thing. Listen to me, listen to me good. You've been watching people play. They've been out here playing. They've been in Rookieville. They've been doing this stuff, man. Look, they out here with stuff like this in Rookieville, greening, taking people to the rim. Nobody can rock with them. Nobody can stop them. Listen to me and listen to me good. Rookieville is exactly that. It's on Rookie, which means you can shoot with a 78 three ball out there in Rookieville. I've seen it happening. Greening, greening, greening. Everything's happening. People hitting 58% contested with no badges, all that stuff. Rookieville is on rookie. When you get to the regular park, the sliders completely change. You will not be able to hit consistently with the 78 three ball unless you are exceptional. If you can hit with it, that means you're exceptional. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the average player that's not really that good at the game. If you are hitting consistently with a 78 three ball, you are exceptional. But I promise you, when you get out of Rookieville, from everything I've seen, the game is a little bit slower. Players are not moving as fast, as quickly. You're not hitting as many shots. People straight bricking and they're like, bro, I don't know what's going on. I mean, I'm in Rookieville and blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? I was hitting in Rookieville. I'm not hitting out here. Rookieville is on Rookie. When you leave Rookieville, it's not going to be the same. So make your build patch proof. We know what the numbers are. We know that if you want to be able to dunk on people, you probably want to make your drive and dunk be 80 at the gate. We know if you want to shoot threes consistently, you want a, a three-pointer between somewhere between 85 and 90. Plus, uh, you know, 80, 81, 82, they say you can hit consistently. Look, I ain't taking no chances. I'm going to be using, uh, I'll be using, uh, my three ball is going to be at, at 85 at the gate. I need to be able to shoot from deep. And uh, that's it. That's really all I got for y'all, man. Rookieville is on Rookie. Make sure you know that. Don't make your bill off of something that you've seen a streamer do, especially if it's been in Rookieville. Number two, be with ball matters. Make sure you put that up, because if you don't, you're going to be dead duck on the side. You're not going to be able to do no back doors. You can't pump fake and go to the rim. You're not going to be able to do nothing. Don't forget about perimeter defense. It's going to be important. The limits... You know, make your joint uh, uh, according to the limits. Make it so them plus fours and plus eights matter. And then, uh, you know, some stuff influences the next. And I'm going to give y'all one thing. If you want bailout and you can't get it, 56 is the minimum passing that you need for bailout. So if you, if you can't get bailout, that's why you need at least 56 playmaking pass accuracy in order to get it. They were tired of people doing like what I was doing. I'm out there with 25 passing, and I'm making I'm making deadly accurate passes and passing out of stuff with dead eye. I mean, without our uh, bailout. 56 pass accuracy for bailout, and then uh, I think speed with ball you need need uh yeah you gonna need like 50 speed with ball, 56 speed with ball too, 55 speed with ball for um 55 speed with ball. Oh, 50 speed with ball. I think it's 40 ball handling. A quick first step. Probably go up some more. Yeah. But 55 speed with ball, 40 ball handling for for quick first step. Actually, it's probably less than that. 55 speed with ball and it looks like 30. Oh, my bad. 55 speed with ball and 30 for quick first step. So like I said, you're going to need some of this stuff, man. This is just stuff that I feel like y'all need to know. Nobody's talking about it. They want y'all to make these messed up bills. They want y'all to have a hard time out there. I don't want that for y'all. I want you guys to have the best experience possible. I make videos to help people out and help you get better at the game. The problem is everybody thinks they're good and nobody thinks they need to get better. I'm just trying to help y'all out, man. 
If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and I'm holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. Guys, please.